And you could even find the perfect gift today. It's all about Museum Store Sunday, and we're kicking it all off at the Sacramento Regional Fire Museum. Yes, and that is where Ashley is this morning, checking it all out. Good morning, Ashley. Guys, good morning. You know, I'd never been in here before. They opened up just about a year ago. It is incredible. The Sacramento Regional Fire Museum here in West Sacramento, they just told me, guys, they tried not to have anything older than a 19, is it 50, Rick? 60. 1960 fire engine in this building. So everything you're seeing will be old, very, very old. Yeah. <laughs> Rick, good morning to you and good happy uh, Museum Store Sunday. Thank you. Hello, Thank you for hello. coming down. Uh, for, well, first of all, for people who may not even know this existed, how would you describe this museum? Why did you guys want to create this? Well, the, the original concept of the museum was put together by the Pioneer Mutual Hook and Ladder Society, which is a uh, organization primarily of retired firefighters. Uh, it's been our goal for 30 years to preserve the history of the area by, and eventually open up a museum. We currently have about 600 members, and uh, through their dues, uh, we've been able to open this museum up. Uh, however, with uh, the current situation, one of our main fundraising efforts was also going to be our store and holding events in here, which we can't do now. So we're relying strictly on donations and membership to get us through. Donations, memberships, and things like this, Museum Store Sunday, purchasing things like these t-shirts. Um, how much are the t-shirts going? Uh, 1999. 1999. Very cool. Well, there we go, guys. That's just two of many things they have to offer here at the museum. So yes, come on down, shop, some, maybe something for somebody for Christmas or a holiday. But you know what, since we're here, Rick, can we just go take a look around? What would you say is your favorite My engine favorite here? Here would probably be this uh, 1926 Seagrave over in the front. In the front. Let's look over there, tell, yeah. me, tell me a little bit about it. That was a, originally a Sacramento engine. Uh, it has kind of a unique history. Uh, it was modified from a chemical engine, which oh, wow. was basically a, a, a before they had the, the smaller pumps. And this served over in the, the east side. Uh, the station is actually still there, but it's a private residence today. Wow, it's yeah. beautiful. And then I actually want to show one more. Steve is probably thinking, Ashley, where are you taking me? Go straight down into that. Uh, you'll see that ladder. I want to talk mm -hmm. about the one that just that just really has a ladder. Okay. It's interesting to think that that was the only way uh, firefighters were able to put out fires. Well, just know this right here on the left. Yeah. Okay, well, this uh, usually in a small community when they first started their fire department, especially if there was no water system, uh, everything was hand-drawn. This is a hand-drawn ladder, oh, wow. kind of commonly referred to as a village ladder, uh, because small, it would carry buckets. Uh, it might be accompanied with a hand-drawn hose cart if okay. they did have a water system, but it just carried ladders and hooks for doing rescues. Very neat. I got you guys. I got to tell you, I am my jaw dropped when I well underneath the mask. It, it certainly <laughs> dropped. And um, if people want to get in contact with you guys or figure out a way to support this particular museum, how can they do so? They could do it on our website, Sacramento Regional Fire Museum or Sac Fire Museum, and uh, there's an opportunity to donate on there, become a sponsor, become a member. We'd love to have more members from outside the fire service. Uh, it's forty-eight dollars a year to be a, a member. You okay. receive a nice pin uh, and certain benefits that come with it, free admission to the museum for the year. Okay, well, thank you so much for all yeah. you do. And, you know, Tina Jordan, I think he hit it on the head. I think people think museums, oh, they have money, they'll be fine. Museums are equally hit as hard by the pandemic as many other businesses out there. Like you said, their fundraising efforts, I mean, it's, it's gone. It's not happening this year at all whatsoever. So come on down, guys, get a shirt, go online, do what you can to support this local museum, which again, only opened just about a year ago. Tina and Jordan. Yes, indeed. So That's cool, cool. Right? Back I didn't even know about that one. Yeah. That's cool. Thanks, Ash.